Gen Z influencer Link Lauren and president of Estelle Arc, uh, Hillary Fordwich. All right, so Link, I'll go to you first on this. Should companies bend the knee, allow the flex schedule, work from home with the Zoom two to three days a week, maybe give them flexible hours and not ask them to work overtime? Do you think that's acceptable and the companies should accept that? Or do you think people in the younger generation should just get off their rear and do exactly what you need to do to keep your job? Well, great to be with you, Carl. The one thing I can say about Gen Z is we are not monolithic, so it's hard to just lump us all in together. There are tons of Gen Zs who are lazy, entitled, bratty. They don't want to work. <laughs> yeah. But then there are tons of Gen Zs who want to show up, put in the time, and get things done. But in Joe Biden's economy, even if you play by the rules, it's incredibly hard to get ahead. Look at 8% mortgage rates. As a voice of Gen Z, the one piece of tough love I would give, if you're going to school and studying queer theater or environmental communication or some bogus thing, don't be shocked when the job prospects aren't great. Go to a trade school, learn something that's going to put food on the table, because when World War III comes, your queer theater degree is not going to help you. Yeah, my, my actually degree will be <laughs> quite a help in that one. But Hillary, at the same vein, there's a lot of companies that are bending the knee and they're changing entire HR policies to like learn how to cope with these people instead of being like, no, shut up, do your job. Well, that's because, and pleasure to be back with you, Carl, that's because it's not just up to the individual company. I have clients, a plethora of clients, and what happens is all of the recruiters get ready to pounce the moment a company has a back-to-office requirement People want to leave. So recruiters come in and pick the best of the brightest. So the issue now is not what the companies want. It's if you want the best and the brightest, then you're going to have to do what they want or they will just leave and you won't be able to hire them. The most successful really are hybrid policies where there's some time remote, some time back in the office, because then at least it's not something that will enable them to leave en masse. You don't want a mass defection. I think something else that's very interesting is that statistically now, only 12% of Gen Zs mm. actually are studying even business. That's down from 20% just in Generation X. So that's just in a generation. Mm. Uh, also, the tenure is two-thirds the duration of time as those before them in Gen X. So I will say this. Yes, millennials work hard. Yes, Gen X do. Gen Z is the one reason. During COVID, don't forget, all of their schools told them this was so horrific, this was so terrible, um, you know, burrow into your little hole. They actually instilled fear in a generation. And that's something that in those formative years really did affect them psychologically. But you know what's crazy too is people like AOC actually have a business degree from BU, which is insane to me. Uh, Link, I, I get less than a minute left here. I was talking to one of my mm -hmm. producers today and she was like, hey, I have a lot of friends who work almost exclusively remotely, sometimes are in the office, and now they're mm -hmm. socially awkward and they don't know how to deal with people in person. Right. Yeah. I was going to say this earlier, you know, I think because of the pandemic and having to spend so much time alone, but also growing up with an iPhone in your hand, a lot of my peers don't have those same social skills. You have to learn to ha you have to learn how to go in, shake someone's hand, look them in the eyes because your degree is 10% of it. You got to learn to shake hands and do the networking. Yeah. That's that's the king. Uh, you know, Hillary, last 15 seconds to you. How do you revert this? You're just going to have that. It, it won't happen until it's ubiquitous across all companies. When all companies require everyone to come back, there won't be any mass defection. So it has to be across the business community. That would only mm -hmm. happen by either a national mandate or necessity, and neither one is coming anytime soon. So you're going to have to offer hybrid, otherwise you'll lose your best people. Or depression, which we seem to be heading towards, which would make jobs a very <laughs> seldom commodity. Correct. Link Lauren, Hillary Ford, which appreciate you stopping by tonight. Thanks Pleasure. for having me.